state of stress throughout a continuum is given with respect to the Cartesian x, O, x1, x2, x3 by C my j. You see 2x1, x3, 3x1, 0, 3x1, 0, 5x2, 0, 5x2, and 0. You see that this matrix this is a symmetric matrix. Now, the term the stress vector, attention here, the stress vector acting at, at a point P, 1, 2, 3, of the plane that is tangent to the cylindrical surface, x2 squared plus x3 squared plus is equal to 13, at point 1, 2, 3, at point P. Now, let's uh, find, calculate sigma ij at point P, you see? Now, it's 1, 2, 3. 2 times 1 times 3, so this will be 6, 6. Now 3x1, x1 is 1, so this is 3, this is 0, see? So this is symmetric, so this is 3, 0. Now x2 is 2, so 5 times 2 is 10, is 10. Now this is 0. You see, because 5x2 is 10, this is 0. So this is sigma ij. Now let's calculate the normal, the normal to the plane. You see, the plane that is tangent to the cylindrical surface. So the gradient, the gradient of the cylindrical surface, x2 squared plus x3 squared minus 13 this is equal to the normal the normal vector to the surface so the gradient is a, this is called this function phi so this will be partial phi respect to x1 e1 plus partial phi respect to x2 e2 plus partial phi respect to x3 e3. Now, there is no x1 over here, so this will be 0. The normal will be 0 e1. Now, partial phi respect to x2, so plus 2 x2 e2 plus partial phi respect to x3 is 2 x3 e3 the normal at the point 1 2 3 you see this is 2 times 2 this is 4 e2 plus 2 times x3 is 3 so 2 times 3 is 6 6 e3 now to calculate the stress vector we need the unit normal, you see, the unit normal. This will be, will be the normal n, let's write, you see, the normal n divided by square root of n dot n. So n dot n, this is square root of 4 square plus 6 square, so this is 16 plus 36, so this will be 52, and this is 4, e2 plus 6, e3, so this is a unit normal. Now, to obtain the stress vector is just easy, you see? Now, you just use the normal, let's erase here, so this will be and I'll raise here. See, this will be n1, n2, n3. This will be n1, n2, n3 times this matrix. 6, 3, 0, 3, 0, 10, and 0, 10, 0. This will be n1, this will be 0. Now this will be 4 square root of 52 
and this will be 6 square root of 52. So you see, look, there is one row and three columns. You see, this one row, this is, in this case, one by three. See, one row by three columns. This is three by three. So the answer T is equal, now, you see? This will be an element, another element, another element. Let's, let's multiply this first row times this first column, this first row times the second column, and the first row times the third column. This will be the value of t. So any one and two and three times sigma ij give me the stress vector. 12 over square root of 52, 6 over square root of 52, and 40 the square root of 52. So the stress vector, attention, the stress vector is force divided by area. Now, this is E1, 12 by square root of 52 E1 plus 60 divided by square root of 52 E2 plus 40 divided by square root of 52 E3. That's the answer to our problem.